Teachers of Reddit. How have you secretly rewarded or punished a student? While making seating charts. Thinking. It would be quite a shame if I sat my least favorite kid under the arctic AC blast. Yes sorry. Quite a shame. It's only a little thing but when I'm marking assignments. If I can see that a kid has really tried I'll write them a little note like. Great effort Michael. I can really see your algebra skills developing. You have come a long way since I started teaching you and I know you're going to get a great grade at the end of the year if you keep working this hard. I think there's something really nice about a written note. I do this especially for the choir kids who might not want me to draw attention to them in class but it's my way of saying I do see you working hard even though you think you are invisible. I took a kid's phone because he was playing Clash of Clans and then lost a bunch of battles for him. I have a student this year who makes my life hell. She is blatantly disrespectful. Nasty to me and classmates. And thinks I'm her personal waitress. Part of this is that every day she tries to hand me her work when I'm running around the room getting class started, but she does it in this manner that implies I'm her maid. I tell her every day to get up and put it in the turn-in box like everyone else. She bitches and whines until some other classmate does it for her. Thursday she left her extra credit, 2 points on her test, not that much, on her desk like it was my job to go get it after class. I threw it away. I'm not sure this is punishment as much as expecting her to follow directions. But I can't honestly say I would have done the same to other students. Small. Petty justice. But I did it nonetheless. I assigned a very high point value project to my HS Chem class. A bright. Popular student turned in a halfus effort. I knew she knew that she halfused it. And I knew she had a conscience. So I handed her my grade book and told her to fill in her own grade. I said whatever you write will be your grade. No questions asked. It was fun watching her squirm for 10 minutes. Begging me to make the choice for her. I used to always show up late for my 10th grade science class. One day. We had a little chapter review quiz at the start of class. And naturally. I am a minute or two late. So I walk over to my desk. And the teacher hands me my quiz. It's all really advanced questions comprised of polysyllabic biology jargon that I've never seen. Question after question is material that I'm pretty confident we have never ever covered in the class. After about 2 minutes. I look up to see how everyone else is doing on their quiz. Everybody was watching me and when I looked up. They all started laughing. The teacher had printed up a single fake quiz with super complicated biology questions just to fck with whatever kid ended up showing up last to the quiz. Ems. Cohen. You were a fun teacher. Thumbs up. Edit. Since a lot of people asked. This was at Bard High School in Manhattan. Had a kid who was working a job late into the night in order to help his family while trying to finish his senior year in high school. His dad had been laid off and his mother was disabled. So they were barely making it. He told me that he worked late into the night and he had to miss days of school. 2. He did the best he could in my class but just couldn't pass after missing so much class. He was a senior and a good kid who needed my English class to pass. Figuring that the kid's life was already hard enough. And that his family was struggling enough. I secretly added some points to assignments he hadn't done so that his final grade went from a 50% to a 61% just enough to pass and graduate. I don't like giving away grades. And I never told him. He just thought he had passed. You're a good person. I've added points to students who were on the cusp of failing or would get letter grade improvements. If they were behaviorally or socially good people. I feel it's worth rewarding people who try hard or have good character as much as it is worth rewarding content. When I am doing final grades if a good student is really close to a higher grade I round it up. If they've misbehaved it stays where it is. I used to play poker and chemistry with my friends. We always seemed to lose decks of cards so one of us bought a 4 pack. 5 minutes into our game. Our chem teacher noticed and confiscated the deck. But little did he know we had three more. 
until a minute later when he confiscated the second. By the end of the lesson he'd taken all four decks. We collected them at the end and went on our way. Cut to next chemistry lesson and we're playing poker again. After 10-15 hands. We realize that no aces have come up. We looked through the deck and only counted 48 cards. Bit of a pain. But we had 4 so we could use the aces from another deck. Except none of those had them too. We looked up at our teacher and he was waving 16 aces at us. He said if we didn't all pass our upcoming test. He would give the cards back to each of us at parents evening with our parents present. I was the student in this case. At the very start of 10th grade. My mother was in a motorcycle accident. Where she should have died. Ended up in IQ. Various hospitals. Etc. For over a year. Meanwhile I have arthritis. So I get sick easily. Psoriatic. Genetic. During the third term. I was sick for a week. On top of already being behind from getting 2 hours a night to work on assignments because I went to visit my mom daily. I go to my European history teacher to explain it. And he immediately dismissed all my missing homework assignments for the term because he knew I was an excellent student who didn't deserve a poor grade for this, his words. Not mine. I owe that man my 1B plus from that year. And he's been a major reason that I'm so motivated to do well for the rest of my high school career. Along with my mom still being around. If a student can dance on an essay where they obviously have no idea what they're talking about. I'll give them some credit for the attempt. For example. I ask you to discuss three major causes of the French Revolution. Causes we covered in class. You don't know them. But. In the essay. You try to extrapolate some possible causes using information you do know or attempt to morph the question into a topic you're prepared to discuss. I call that dancing. Because a good performance can be moving. And a poor performance is laughable. I've gone as high as 75% credit for a good dance. IMHO. It demonstrates a better mastery of the material than actually parroting back what I've been talking about for the last 4 weeks. Close bracket. Otto. If you pull any of that shti that shows up on 9 gag. Like give this drawing of some stupid meme an A or whatever. I will burn your ass for the rest of the semester. You so much as emit a semicolon. And it's half credit at best. Comma you so much as emit a semicolon. And it's half credit at best. True in computer science as well. I never fudge grades one way or the other. However. When I know a student has really put in the effort and is genuinely trying. I'm more lenient with due dates. Within reason. I'd rather they learn the lesson and be able to apply it later than meet a deadline. I needed one of those scientific calculators for a class exam but my family couldn't afford one. My teacher took me to his office and handed me a brand new one in a box. He said I'd appreciate if you didn't tell anyone in class about this. Nearly cried. I was only about 13. I think I have it back to him like 5 years later as I wouldn't be using it again and told him to pass it on the next kid. Ta Mr. C. I'm usually cool with a student charging their phone in my room. But they have to ask first. If they don't. I try to guess their password till their phone is locked for 12 hours. Or better yet. Until they have to sign into iTunes again. This isn't in secret but I just wanted to share about my 8th grade algebra teacher. He literally saved my life. I was very depressed suicidal at the end of my senior year. My class went on a Europe trip and about halfway through he noticed that I wasn't doing well. He came up to me and told me that he noticed and I am capable of anything. That is the first time anyone has told me that. Because of him I am doing well in my life. Two years ago he suddenly passed away at a very young age, around 30. He was such an inspirational teacher and will always be missed. The all-powerful participation portion of the grade. Can make or break that A. I recently had an ethics class with two friends. The professor lumped myself and my friends together as the men of my college. So despite never speaking a word in class. I got the same participation grade as my friends because the professor seemingly saw us as one being. 
I'm not a teacher. But this happened to me. Long story short. My jackass father was trying to have me taken away from my mother. He contacted my guidance counselor, SP, comma and I'm still not sure what their arrangement was. All I know is that she started pulling me out of class and buying me candy and comic books. And she kept asking me weird questions about my home life. Before too long. She called me to her office and had a stack of 12 comics on her desk. Every Marvel and DC book that came out that week. She told me they were mine. But first I had to talk to a social worker and tell her a few small lies about my home life that would add up to me getting forced to live with my father. I told the social worker what was going on. And she called my mom. Gave me the comics. And sent me home for the day. Never saw the guidance counselor again. I asked my professor if I could turn in a report by the end of the day instead of during class time. Since I wasn't finished. He said it was okay. No problem. He ended up grading harsher than other students and I'm convinced it's because I turned it in late. I feeling while grading is generally. Hey. You got extra time. It better be extra good. When I was in 9th grade. I had a principal named DR. Ridgeway. My life was just a big ball of crap. To be honest. I was bullied. Living in a hooker motel. It was trashy, that we couldn't afford. And I self-harmed. DR. Ridgeway went above and beyond for me. She obviously had to get the bullies. And she did. Anytime I felt the urge to self-harm. In school. I was in her office. She would let me sit outside the building and listen to music so I could calm down. And if it got too bad. I was allowed to call mom and go home. No questions asked. The most important thing she did. She asked the, the people who donated a lot of money to the school. To help pay for us to live in a motel for another week. She did that three times till we got on our feet to live in an apartment. I've never had a teacher school worker. Mean so much to me. I need to go visit her soon. Not a teacher but an occupational therapist that works in an elementary school. Had a guess how many Legos contests at the end of the year. This kiddo just has a sad life and always tells me how his siblings were happier before he was born. This is a sweet kid. Not a mean bone in his body. I took a kid's phone and texted his mom saying. I love you. And I think I am old enough for more responsibility. Can I start mowing the lawn? Or wash the dishes or something to help you out? The kid was 12. And hates me to this day. In my high school our report cards only listed the letter value and not any pluses or minuses. One teacher would announce any plus in class after the reports came out. She didn't announce your letter grade. Just the plus dart. One term she gave me a minus 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 minus. I had a D. Comma I was struggling in the class and had even gotten some tutoring so she knew I was trying and had given me a little boost by not giving me a failing grade but made it clear I had to push even harder. I managed to improve and passed the class with a B. An F may have made me give up on the class. I taught high school. This one kid was always in trouble. Always on disciplinary probation. Not an ounce of sense. During the last period of the day. The kid walked in with a soda can which was strange because lunch was already over a few hours ago. He was obviously dipping. I knew it and he knew I knew. I picked up the can and acted like I was accidentally about to take a drink. He turned pale. Then I apologized and said. Sorry. All yours. Down the hatch. And waited for him to guzzle it. He guzzled it. Then asked if he could go to the restroom to retch. Better than being suspended for possessing tobacco. Obligatory I'm not a teacher but. Full stop. Back in 4th grade I was yelling swear words in class. Little idiot me thought swearing was cool and all that. And got the teacher real mad. He then dragged me to the office and began lecturing me. Half pissed off. A few moments in another teacher who liked me asked him if she could take over and handle the problem for him. And so I went with her afterwards. After a simple don't do this again. Okay. Comma. She let me play runescape on her computer for the rest of the period. 
I also helped her create an account. I feel like this is the 4th grade version of hooking up with the hot teacher. You didn't deserve that and the teacher was a pushover. Not the teacher. But I will shout out to him. I had a research seminar class in high school. My father died from AIDS complications at the start of my senior year. Couldn't pull my shti together for that class but tried. I ended up with a C plus despite knowingly missing even a passing mark. That was some 17 years ago. I eventually went on to become an emergency department nurse. There have been a handful of cases I directly saved someone's life. If that teacher had not passed me, I would not have been placed in that role. For those people. Gave a kid a box of chocolate frogs sugar mice for calling out that ministry bitch in a magazine. I explained to my grade 11 math teacher that I had no plans to do anything math related. Wasn't even going to take grade 12 math and told her I was seeing a tutor. And she passed me when I don't think I quite made it. Not by much but it didn't matter. Sadly. This is probably one of the most misspoken sentences. I won't work anywhere where I have to do math. I don't need to know numbers. So untrue. Every job needs numbers in some form and a basic college degree requires it. 2. A friend is a teacher in an area where there are a lot of Indians. From India. Close bracket. The parents normally come in feeling extraordinarily entitled and yelling at the teacher for having their kid receive a B rather than a A. He won't budge. Because. Well. Grades are grades. Because of that. He grades students with parents that are nicer to him with a tad bit more favor. This is really inappropriate and unfair to the student. Grades are grades. But it's okay to bump the kids with nicer parents grades up. I never graded based on anything other than academics. That is to say. The assignments. Quizzes. And tests. No adding points for good kids or taking away points from bad kids. I tried to be as unbiased as possible. I didn't think it was right to give a student a judgement of their academic abilities based on non-academic things. I also don't factor in class participation. It feels too arbitrary. And while I do think it's crucial to get kids to participate, I just don't think taking a portion of their grade hostage is the proper way. Of course. I taught grade schoolers. I'd probably have a different opinion if I was dealing with high school kids. This one day I was teaching Reddit and I downvoted a student for reposting. As a student on the GI Bill. I was late for class one time and they gave a pop quiz that asked only for name, date, and class number and I missed it by 10 minutes because I snapped a belt on the way in. I got credit once I walked into the door because my professor knew I fought in Iraq and Afghanistan and the marines and declared that I had been late 5 minutes home from each war. Therefore I was good to go on the pop quiz. Punishment. I pretend to randomly pick an essay from the pile and read a portion to the class. What I actually do is showcase a selection of the worst writing and poorest thinking so that the lazy students are ridiculed before their classmates works like a charm because the shame makes them do better next time i guarantee you will see the results of it edit let me clarify this i've used this tactic with college students who are required and expected to know beyond the basics also i consider that it would also work fine for high school students it baffles me to read read how some people feel threatened and terrified by something like this labeling it as politically incorrect and so to be honest. I think it is highly hypocritical to condemn a method of this kind also which is strictly focused on learning and applying principles that are required by the curriculum also in the name of protecting the fragile and quasi-divine integrity of the students' feelings. When outside of the classroom 14-year-old girls take nude selfies and get wasted. Without any remorse for publishing it on Twitter or Facebook.